Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Kid Choi. On today's holiday beverage edition, we're going to be making hot chocolate shots and holiday eggnog. Now before we get into this episode, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Now let's get started. So here's our ingredients. We have sugar, or six ounces of sugar, three eggs, a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, one cup of heavy cream, and one cup of milk. And so first, we're gonna beat up the eggs. Well, we're gonna separate the eggs, we're not beating them. Well, but yeah, because... We just need the yolks, so crack the egg in that cup. Crack it. And you crack it again. Good job. I should have used that for one of the regular, uh, you know, over hard eggs. Don't want the whites. All you need is just the yolk. We're just separating the egg yolk and the egg white? Yeah. Just pour it and the whites will separate themselves. There you go. This yolk is so cold. No, came out straight out the fridge. Gonna put the yolk in the bowl. Okay. All right, now I'll do it again. It's a little white, but mm. why? Why? It's like boiled eggs. Hmm. You know I touched it, but still. I can't see. Well, get your hand out of the way. <laughs> you only need two fingers to hold the egg back. Oh. All right, see? So okay. So that didn't work. You left, You didn't do it right. You gotta hold the yolk back. Mm. All right, here, I'll show you. Okay. All right, Dad, so I got the egg out with my fingers. There's a little trick, like... So you don't, you don't need me to show you the other one? Mm -mm. Okay, all right. So let's see if you can get this last one right. If not, I know a trick of... If not, I know a few tricks on my sleeve. Just crack. If that don't work, crack up the side. You got it? Uh, you're, see, not put, like, you're not cracking hard enough, but not, no, don't slam it. <laughs> okay. Why? F flip it over and crack up. There you go. Okay, it's like boiled eggs. Come on. You got it. Troy, you're going to break it open. <laughs> okay, I... Why? Just why? Well, you better figure it out. Okay, I just... Oh! Crack it open. It's already cracked. How many times you gonna crack that open? You gonna break egg all over the place. You gonna clean it up. I'm not cleaning it. This is just one long blooper is what this is. <laughs> Why? Court, George, just open it. Okay, fine. <laughs> That's a stubborn egg. That must be your egg. That egg is your baby. Oh. All right, separate it. Just keep your fingers on the edge. Right, let's do two. Hold on, let's, let me swap. Let me swap. Okay. Well, first of all, you're using your whole hand. Just turn, put your, put three fingers. Dude, in I did. That's what I'm doing, Dad. Pour no. the, do you the, not the see white me? will separate itself. Just hold the yolk back. Just don't move your fingers. No. Pour the, pour it. Let that yolk. There you go. Let the white just fall where it may. Push the yolk back a little bit. There you go. It'll separate. Oh. That's all you gotta do. You just push in the yolk. Oh, don't, don't care. Oh my God, Troy, <laughs> how could you do it again? You got, all you had to do was lower the cup. You pulled your hand out first. Oh my God. That's, this is just one long loop. I'm gonna show this one. No, all right, man. get the egg out again for the second time. He screwed that one up. But here's a trick. And that's why I keep saying, if you crack it in your hand, you won't need the bowl, uh, the cup. Okay, then. Crack, oh. the, crack the egg in your hand and you won't have to go through that. But you don't want to do it. You want to crack it in a cup for some reason. It goes, uh, now you got to go wash your hands again. Oh. All right, let's get the mixing this stuff. All right. Now we're going to beat the eggs and gradually add the sugar. 
Finally, my egg. Okay, hold up. There you go. Beat okay. Stir them really fast. Now, Dad? Yep. Gradually add the sugar. What does gradually mean? Like slowly? Slowly, yep. Okay. This is why I'm. Do that time. All right, we're gonna swap, and I'm I'm gonna do it for you, okay? Okay, because I'm not good at these two hand things. Well, the bowl keeps moving, so I'm I'm oh. I'm I'm gonna do it while you add the sugar, okay? Put okay. the sugar down. Oh, oh. slinging, slinging yoke at you. Hey, I'm I a guess. yoke slinger. <laughs> so we had to swap because the bowl kept spinning. Yeah, when a bowl spins like that, it gets annoying. Yeah, it can make a lot of noises. Well, it's not the noise, it's the, the bowl spins because you're using your other hand. So I gradually add the sugar so you don't sling the sugar everywhere. Slowly mix it together. Like not like dumping All right, it. Now this is kind of thick, so. I'll take over from here. I'm gonna gradually add, I'm gonna just add the vanilla, the vanilla and then gradually add the milk. I'll do the milk. Okay, you want me to do the milk or the heavy cream? I do want you to do one. Which one you want to do? I'll do the heavy cream, you do the milk. Okay. So this is our milk. And you could use whole milk, 1%, 2%, whatever you wanna do. And I gradually add that. And you want to add it gradually to control the lumps. Get all the lumps out. And just, you want to use a whisk to incorporate air. Get it nice and frothy. And now it's not thick no more. Yay! Right. Now it's liquid. Liquidy. No, I'm about to finish adding the milk, then you're gonna add the heavy cream. Okay, well, does that mean we have to swap? Yep. Okay. All right, add the last of the milk. All right, there goes all the milk. This recipe calls for half a teaspoon of vanilla, but you can add a whole teaspoon, you can add two teaspoons. It's just, it's to your flavor, your liking. All right, your turn. All right, Troy, so now you're gonna add the heavy cream while you stir. So grab your heavy cream, put it on your left side. You're left-handed, buddy, what are you doing? You're oh, right-handed. Oh, wait, yeah, 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 Okay, hold up. Technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that, all right. See, that consistency of this good, buddy. It's like eggnog already. That's what I'm gonna say from now on. If we if do this coming like to a bluebird, I'm gonna say technical difficulties. Hey, you know what something I just thought about? And you don't have to just do eggnog during the Christmas season. You can make this, you could put green food color in it during for uh, St. Patrick's Day or something. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. wait. Okay. Valentine's Day, you can put red food color in it. Just make a nice, family drink. All right, I'm gonna add, you hold the bowl, I'm gonna add the heavy cream while you stir. All right, thanks. Get in the center. Keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. I'm gonna move it a bit, so that way it can be in the center. My arm! Yeah, your arm gets tired after a while, right? But once you get stronger and faster, as you get older, you can do this by yourself in like three minutes. I think I wanna start it, whenever my arm gets tired, I think I, I I always want to think that I should use my non-dominant hand. You can swap hands. Learn. I'm gonna try it. Teach yourself how to stir left hand. Ignore the off. Uh, ignore. Awkwardness. Yeah. <laughs> go the other way. Go okay, the other fine. way. No, 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 no. Use your left hand, but go the other way. Like this. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Use your wrist, son. You're using your arm. Use your wrist. Um. Use your wrist. What? How? 
<laughs> we'll, we'll practice that off camera. Okay, technical right. difficulties. We'll be right back. To finish it off, we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. You can use your finger. Okay. Just pull it off. You can use your finger. Oh, wait. No. There you go. <laughs> simple things, buddy. Simple things. All right, come on. Stir it. All right. I don't know why, but this smells like Cajun season. No, it doesn't. It smells nothing like Cajun season. Well, it smells weird. It smells like nutmeg. Oh, that's why it smells like nuts. You've never used nutmeg, but you've used it before, dude, in other episodes. All right, and we're done. That's it. That's how you make nutmeg. That's how you make a. Uh, oh, man. I'm about to say that over. All right, we're done, and that's how you make eggnog. Okay. So let's get this in the refrigerator for a couple hours, and you can serve it. Yeah. So now that we're done mixing it, we're going to bottle it and put it in the fridge overnight. All right, so we take our eggnog, a little holiday bottle I like to use. And we're gonna have our food funnel. You can get this from Home Depot or anywhere you can, uh, AutoZone, get you a funnel and only use it for food in the kitchen. And then take your eggnog, come up here, Troy, follow me up. And just pour it in your funnel. Now, I don't know what kind of bottles you guys use. Make sure you don't overfill it. And you just fill your eggnog in like so. For a second, I thought you were spilling it. Nope, put it in the funnel and it drips down in here. We get that last drip. Voila, you're done. We can take this stuff over to the sink, wash it out. Yep, put the top back on. Put the top on, make sure it's on nice and tight. Oh, nope, it's not seated right. There you go. Put your top on. You can even shake it up. There's your eggnog. Refrigerate this overnight and serve. Yep. So now let's make the hot chocolate shots. I'm gonna be making the hot chocolate while Dad makes the marshmallow shots. So first, I'm gonna scald the milk. Pour it quickly. Mm. Mm. Turn it between, just in case. Then pour the vanilla extract into the milk. After that, mix the cocoa powder with the sugar. Use a spoon. Oh. You got a spoon. You got oh, a spoon. Wait. Use a spoon to mix it. Let me get that out. Uh, all right, that should be enough. So what does the cocoa powder do with the sugar? It doesn't do anything to the sugar. It's gonna make your milk uh, chocolatey. Oh. That's how you make the hot chocolate. We're also gonna add some real regular chocolate. Oh, okay. And then you just dump it into the milk afterwards? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you stir it around with your rubber spatula. Yeah. Stir the, stir the sugar around with your rubber spatula. All right. Stir while you're pouring. Yeah. Luckily, it's not like a mixing bowl. It doesn't like... All right, so you're, you're going to stir about 10 minutes. All right, so let's go over here to the chocolate shops. We got some... Simmering water here on low, just enough to get it hot. Do a double boiler, a boiler here. We're gonna take some chocolate morsels, about two ounces. Put that in there. And stir it around. All right, so we're gonna melt down this chocolate. And this milk's quick, and it also cut the heat off. You see how there's no heat down here? There's no heat. I cut it off because now the water is just steam. The steam is gonna melt this chocolate. So the double boiler method, it only takes about three minutes. We 
we're just gonna melt down this chocolate. It sounds like a drumming beat that you're doing with this. Does it? Yeah. All right, cool. So now that that's hot, we're just gonna set the whole thing to the back burner and let that sit, let the steam continue to melt that. Mm -hmm. All right, so now here's our marshmallows. Uh-oh. We're gonna take our marshmallows and a fork and you're going to take, get the large marshmallows. This is what you need, okay? See how big that marshmallow is? Mm -hmm. And you're gonna stick your fork. This is gonna become the bottom. I think for the top. Okay. All so. right. And cut the eye back on. Um, you see that? Cut it about medium. I've, and we're just gonna roast the marshmallow. If y'all watching this, I advise adult supervision. Absolutely. Only let the adults do this. You can do this around a campfire too, if you have one fire pit. Uh, but just keep rotating it. Keep rotating the marshmallow. And this is. And you'll see why. See it starting to swell. And you'll see why I said you might uh, advise you to get adult supervision. <clears throat> it does take a while, though. Yeah, it takes a few minutes. For editing purposes, I'm not gonna show the whole thing. I'm just roasting the marshmallow. So the hot chocolate is looking good. We turned the butter off so, you know, it won't get burned. Now let's get back to our marshmallows. Looking good, looking good Dad. Looking good. Mm -hmm. All right, so the marshmallow is starting to, see how it's starting to expand out of here? You wanna take this, when it gets puffy like that, this fork is about to come out. So I'm gonna take it right to the edge. And we're gonna to go to that graham cracker over there. Give me one second, one second. It's gonna work in just a second. All right, follow me here to the graham cracker. Okay. Okay, and then you just pull it out, pull the fork out. It's sticky. Yep, it is sticky. Actually, wait, that kind of does. That looks like a big cup it, when you did that. Put a little chocolate there and set the marshmallow right on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna put some chocolate on that one too. When we let's go do the next marshmallow. All right. See the marshmallow separating is growing, getting puffier. Mm -hmm. All right, let's come over here. Let's grab a little bit of chocolate. Put it right there on the graham cracker. Oop! It fell right on top of it. That's, that's where I wanted it. Set that graham cracker right on top. Let that chocolate harden. That's gonna concave in on itself and become like a little shot glass. All right, so we're almost done with the third one. We're just gonna roast this a little bit longer. I'm gonna hold it up to the flame right about here and let that expand again. Oh yeah, that's super hot. Let's burn my hand. Let the adults do this part. All right, come over here to the chocolate as it starts to come off. Take your fork here and slide it out. And then the other fork will drip. What's gonna happen is this is going, this is going to 
fall in line just like the other two. This one looks a little hinky, so I did another one. But this is going to um, solidify or congeal in on itself. And when it solidifies, it's gonna create a cavern. And you can even, you can even cheat a little bit and take some of this out of here. Just kind of open it up. And as it gets harder, that will form a shot glass. Mm. So now we're just gonna do a little decoration, give it some little chocolate tiger stripes on here. You don't have to do this, it's just something I'm just kind of making up as I go. It's something fun to do. You don't have to decorate it. And then once this chocolate hardens, so now what we're gonna do is go to our hot chocolate, finish that, pour the hot chocolate in here, and then this will be your hot chocolate shots. Mm. All right. Now let's add chocolate to the rest of the milk. All right, so we're gonna take the rest of the chocolate we had and add it to our hot chocolate and stir that in. And that will complete the hot chocolate dish. It's probably easier to use a rubber spatula. Mm. So just dissolve this chocolate into this milk, make some nice smooth hot chocolate, and put that into your marshmallow shots. All right, so I'm gonna take this hot chocolate here, and we're gonna spoon it in here because it can, it can be quite difficult. And you only probably need about maybe four of these. And maybe more than that. You just want to fill them up. Maybe a tablespoon or two. So here's our holiday egg now and hot chocolate shot. Mmm, that was tasty. Wait to try ours. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to leave a comment below, share this video, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye! This is bussin' button. <laughs> this oh, is yeah. bussin' bussin'. Oh, yeah. This is like the best hot chocolate ever. <laughs> I'm eating one too, but I'm filming this. And you get to eat the shot glass too. Oh, yeah. Hot chocolate shots, baby. That's how we do it. Uh-oh. All right, let's clean this up. Okay.